But today we've been asked to speak on the uh, glories of Sri Advaita Charja, one with Pancha Tattva. This is from the um, Chaitanya Charitamrita, Adi Leela, Chapter 6. <clears throat> the glories of Sri Advaita Charja. Jay Jay Shri Chaitanya Jaya Nityananda Jay 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 Advaita Chandra Jaya Gaur Bhakta Vrinda Jay Jay Shri Krishna Chaitanya Nityananda Jay Advaita Chandra Jaya Gaur Bhakta Vrinda Jaya Jaya Sri Chaitanya Jaya Nityananda Jaya Advaita Chandra Jaya Gaura Bhakta Vrinda Anybody want to chant? Jaya Jaya Sri Chaitanya Jaya Nityananda Jaya Jaya Santipaya Gaur Bhakta Vrinda O oh, glorious to Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, O oh, glorious to Nityananda, O oh, glorious to Advaita Charya, and O oh, glorious to the devotees of Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. <clears throat> Mahavishnu Jagat Karta, Maya Yasi Jati Ada, Tashabatara Evayam, Advaita Chara Ishwaraha. Lord Advaita Chara is the incarnation of Mahavishnu. Evil, whose main function is to create the cosmic world through the actions of Maya. Advaitam harindradvat acharyam bhakti samsanat bhaktaravatara misham tam tam advaitacharyam ashraya. Because he is non different from Hari, the Supreme Lord, he is called Advaita. And because he propagates the cult of devotional service, he is called Acharya. He is the Lord and incarnation. He is the Lord and the incarnation of the Lord's devotee. Therefore, I take shelter of him. Panchatatva Abhartirna Chaitanya Shange Panchatatva Lana Karina Shankitan Arange. Translation, the purple by divine grace of Bhaitra and Arvind, the Bhaktivedanta Swami Shri Prabhupada Ki Jai. These five tattvas incarnate with Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, and thus the Lord executes his Sankirtan movement with great pleasure. Purport. <coughs> In the Srimad Bhagavatam 1132, there's the following statement regarding Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Krishna Vanam Tuksa Krishnam Sangu Pangasra Parshadam Yagne Sankitana Praya Yojati Hishu Medasha in the age of Kali. People are endowed with sufficient intelligence. They will worship the Lord who is accompanied by his associates, by the performance 
of the Sankirtan Jagna. Sankirtan Jagna ki. Yes. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is always accompanied by his plenty expansions. Lord Nityananda Prabhu, his incarnation, Sri Advaita Prabhu, his internal potency, Sri Gadatha Prabhu, and his marginal potency, Sri Vas Prabhu. He is in the midst of them as the Supreme Personality of Godhead. One should know that Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is always accompanied by these and other tattvas. Therefore, our obeisances to Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu are complete when we say, Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda, Sri Advaita Gadadhara Shivasadi Gaur Bhakta Vrinda. As preachers of the Krishna Consciousness Movement, we first offer our obeisances to Lord Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu by chanting this Panchatattva Mantra. Then we say, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ramo, Hare Ramo, Ram Ram. There are ten offenses in the chanting of Hare Krishna Maha Mantra, but these are not considered in the chanting of the Panchatattva Mantra. Namely, Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda, Sri Advaita Karadhara Shiva Shari Gaur Bhakta Vrinda. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is known as the Mahavadanaya Avatara, the most magnanimous incarnation. For he does not consider the offenses of the fallen souls. Thus, he thus to derive the full benefit of the chanting of the Maha Mantra, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama. We must first take shelter of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, learn the Panchatattva Mantra, and then chant the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra. That will be very effective. Taking advantage of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, many unscrupulous devotees manufactured mantras of their own. Sometimes they sing, Bhajanitai go Radhe Sham Hari Krishna Hari Ram. <laughs> oh, Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Hari Krishna Hari Rama Radhe Govindo. <laughs> Actually, however, uh, we sh one should chant the holy names of the full Panchatattva Mantra. Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Sri Advaita Karadhara Sri Vasari Gauru Bhaktivinda Then the 16 words Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 But these unscrupulous, less intelligent persons confuse the entire process. Of course, since they are, they are also devotees, they can express their feelings in that way. But the method prescribed by Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's pure devotees is that to first chant the full Panchatattva Mantra and then chant the Maha Mantra. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. <coughs> Panchatatva Makam Krishnam Bhakta Rup Srupakam Bhakta Ravataram Bhakta Kyam Bhamami Bhakta Shakti Kam <coughs> So today is the appearance day of Srila Dvaita Charja <coughs> and he was famous for two things. One He brought the Lord here into this material world by his loud chanting. He, re he read the verse that Krishna says, if one offers me with just a tosi leaf and gangajal, I'll be so pleased. So he thought, this is, I can please the Lord <coughs> by offering uh, tosi and gangajal to uh, Shri Shalagram Srila. Uh, with the loud chanting of the holy names, he was very always loudly chanting the holy names. And as a result of that, Krishna agreed to appear, <coughs> agreed to appear here. Advaita Charaki Jai, by his courteous mercy, 
we hear now we have the Krishna consciousness movement and the <coughs> Hare Krishna mantra. Uh, uh, which was the second uh, famous thing Acharya is noted for. First he called the Lord and the other glory of the Lord that he gave the process of bhakti. He's the Acharya, so he gives the message of the Acharyas. And what is the message of the Acharyas in the <coughs> age of Kali? It's Harinam, 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 Ibu Gevalam. Karu Nasti, Vanasti, Vanasti, Vakatiranyat. So at way to Acharya, he was <coughs> uh, the leader of the Brahminical community in Shantipur, Navadweep also. And uh, so as the leader of the Brahminical community, they all respected him, so he would just teach bhakti. He would teach bhakti from the Shastras and, and the process of Shamkitan in the age of Kali. <coughs> So, uh, so the Panchatatva there, the Yuga Avatar is Panchatatva Pakam Krishnam Bhakta Rupa Shrupakam Bhakta Ravataram Bhakta Kyam Mamai Bhakta Shakti Kam. Uh, Lord Chaitanya, Lord Krishna has ex appeared as Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and he's expanded himself in these five different features. Panchatatva Pakam Krishnam, he is Krishna. Uh, Rupa, Bhakta Rupa, he's the form of a Bhakta. Krishna has come in the form of a Bhakta. Uh, uh, Panchatatva Pakam Krishna Bhakta Rupa. Sarupa Kam, he's Sarupa Shakti, he expands as Lord Nityananda Prabhu. Balaram expansion. Uh, Bhaktar Avataram, this is Advaita Charya, the Avatara. Incarnation the Mahavishnu. Hmm? Where was that? Did we read it? Yeah, Lord Advaita is the incarnation of Mahavishnu, whose main function is to create the cosmic world through the actions of Maya. So he is the great lord of this world. He has created all the whole, everything that we know existence. <coughs> Materially, it's just simply a part of the creation of the Vaita Acharya, unlimited uh, material universes. And he creates, he dissolves, and he maintains. Because he is non different from Hari, the Supreme Lord, he is called Advaita. And because he propagates the cult of devotion, he is called Acharya. He is the Lord and the Lord's incarnation, the Lord, and therefore we should take shelter of him. Dwayta <clears throat> Charja Ki Jai. So he is the incarnation of Mahavishnu, who is so great, but by his breathing, millions and millions of universes emanate from his pores. Who can estimate the size and greatness of the Lord? <clears throat> he is also known as Sadashiva. <clears throat> so, yeah, so the, uh, the, 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 the Advaita Chari is part of the Panchatattva. These are the Yuga Avataras. And without going through these Avataras, uh, one cannot understand Krishna, what is Radha and Krishna. <clears throat> so they have invented in five features to show how we can approach, it's a progression, how we can approach to uh, Radha and Krishna. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has come to present <clears throat> Radha and Krishna uh, and uh, Advaita Acharya is, uh, the, so the Lord has expanded in these five features to show how we have to progress through the uh, through these different features of the Lord, <clears throat> and without going through the Panchatattva, no, the Krishna cannot be understood, because they specifically they're the Yuga Avataras. Uh, they have invented themselves, especially for the living entities of Kali Yuga, 
with the Yuga Dharma, the chanting of the Hare Krishna mantras, the holy names. <clears throat> so without going through the, the, uh, the avatars for Kali Yuga, then it is not possible. So this is the mercy of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Uh, he has made himself approachable through the Pancha Tattva. <clears throat> who wrote his own different expansions of his own energies. <clears throat> so it's, it, it's a progression here. Prabhupada, uh, in the, this is the Adi Leela, chapter 7. So he up when he's five features. And he's uh, pointing out th this progression of love, of the Panchatattva. <clears throat> So, Prabhupada is talking about the different types of devotees. Uh, uh, some in Shantara, some in Dasara, some in Vatsalara, some in Shakira, some in Madhudya Rasa, all these different uh, relationships. But Chaitanya Mahaprabhu specifically came to show the conjugal relationship or reveal the conjugal relationship of Radha Krishna. Therefore, our Ultimate worshipful Lord is Gopi Nad, master of the Gopis. This Mahaprabhu gave us our identity. Gopi Padiyokamalo Das 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 Anudas. We are servant of the servant of Krishna, Gopi Nad. He is our Ishta Deva. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came to reveal uh, this conjugal relationship with Radha Krishna, which is very uh, confidential. And it's not known, it's not heard of much in other yugas. You know, specifically when the Lord, the original personality of God comes on the 28th millennium, then he displays this particular characteristic of the original feature of God, the Parikiras in, in Goloka. <clears throat> so it's a very confidential thing. But Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, out of his kindness, in the Mahabharata and Aravatara, <clears throat> he has come to reveal this and give it. He, he was thinking, a long time I didn't give my mercy to my pure unalloyed devotees. A long time he didn't give. He was feeling, oh, so hey, okay, now the time for my incarnation is coming. I will give my original form, the original form of feature, in my original feature as Krishna Chandra, the enjoyer of the Parikya Rasa. So, uh, this is why Mahaprabhu is mag so magnanimous. He has come. So this progression that Mahaprabhu has given us is showing us how to ultimately to, to attain this uh, st state of uh, consciousness that the, uh, the inhabitants of Vrindavan in their conjugal relationship have with Krishna. <clears throat> The devotees headed by God at Pandit are considered incarnations of the internal potency of the Lord. And they are comp and these are the confidential devotees engaged in service of the Lord. Uh, Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur has explained that there are specific symptoms by which internal devotees and the unalloyed pure devotees are to be known. All unalloyed devotees are Shakti Tattvas or potencies of the Lord. Some of them are situated in conjugal love and others in filial affection, fraternity and servitude. Certainly all of them are devotees. But by making a comparative study, it's found that the devotees, uh, that the devotees or potencies who are engaged in the conjugal love are better situated than the others. Thus, devotees who are in a relationship with the Supreme Personality of Godhead in conjugal love are considered to be the most confidential devotees of Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Those who are engaged in the service of Nityananda Prabhu and Lord Advaita Prabhu generally have relationships of parental love, fraternity, servitude and neutrality. Uh, when such devotees develop great attachment for Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, they too became situated in the intimate circle of devotees in conjugal love. This gradual development of devotional service is described by Narutam Das Thakur as follows Gauranga Bolite Hobi Pulaka Sharira 
হরি হরি বলেছে নাইনি হবি নিরানি কোচ সং ও ওয়েন দে উইল দ্য বি রপশনস অন মাই বডি এ সুন আই চান দ্য নেম অফ লো চৈতন্য এম ওয়েন উইল দে বি ইনসেসেন্ট টরেন্স অফ টিয়ার্স এ সুন আই চান দ্য হোলি নেমস হরি কৃষ্ণ এম ওয়েন উইল লোড নিচনান্দ বি মার্সিফুল টু মি এম ফ্রি মি ফ্রম অল ডিজায়ার্স ফর মেটিরিয়াল এনজয়মেন্ট When will my mind be completely free from the contamination of desires for material pleasure? Only at that time will it be possible for me to understand Vrindavan. Only if I become attached to the instructions given by the six Goswamis, headed by Rupa Goswami and Raghunath Das Goswami, will it be possible for me to understand the conjugal love of Radha and Krishna? By attachment to the devotional service of Lord Chaitanya, Mahaprabhu one immediately comes to in the ecstatic position and when he develops his love for nichananda prabhu uh he is freed from all attachment to the material world <clears throat> at that time he becomes eligible to understand the lord pastimes in vrindavan in that condition when he develops his love for the six gos swamis he can then understand the conjugal love between radha and krishna these are the different stages of a pure devotee's promotion in conjugal love in the service of Radha and Krishna in an ultimate relationship with Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. <clears throat> uh, so it's, it's also mentioned in the Nabadeep Dhamma Hatmiya. Uh, yeah, all the devotees of Gauranga, they are serving him most all of them are serving in the mood of dasaras that is the way we are approaching chaitanya mahaprabhu's servitude he is the mahaprabhu he is master and we are servant this is our approach at first to mahaprabhu as a servant <clears throat> and uh yes dasaras and when that service attitude becomes mature then one uh, 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 develops the conjugal relationship or mahaprabhu reveals the conjugal relationship he reveals himself as radha and krishna not together separately <clears throat> uh, so this is the way all the devotees they worship the lord in dasaras until that the the devotional attitude or this devotional sentiment becomes uh, proper then mahaprabhu reveals he reveals to them radha and krishna <coughs> so uh so this progression is there um, as uh, narottam das thakur singh and prabhupada is pointing out that that they're talking of uh by attachment of devotional service to the lord uh, chaitanya mahaprabhu one immediately becomes to the ecstatic position uh, <clears throat> yeah when he when he develops his love for nitananda prabhu he is free from all attachment to the material world Yeah, by attachment to the devotional service lord chaitanya becomes immediately one immediately becomes to the ecstatic position <clears throat> so that ecstatic static position is a position of lord nitananda prabhu now to become ecstatic you've got to get rid of all the material qualities all the ana- uh, different anathas that are there all the different moilas so that is the business of the acharya that's the message of the acharya this is the way to acharya he gives a science of of devotional service of bhakti yoga which is the process for cleaning the heart properly and uh to get the mercy of the acharya one must take shelter in in the line of parampara so that is shrivas thakur so we start with shrivas <coughs> everybody knows 
we want to become devotees of Krishna, then we approach a pure devotee. Everybody knows. You take shelter at the lotus feet of a pure devotee. So that's, that's Sri Vashtakur. He represents the Jiva, Jiva Shakti, Jiva Tattva, but in, in uh, proper constitution. The constitution is situated perfect as the servant of the Lord. Uh, so he's Jiva Tattva, but he's perfect because he's, he knows how to serve the Lord and he serves the Lord. Uh, so one takes shelter of such a person. This is the beginning of our spiritual life. We take shelter of the person that, that re represented by Sri Thakur. And what does Sri Thakur? He, he gives you the connection to the Parampara. He gives you the, the Yuga Dharma, the process of chanting Hare Krishna. He gives you the names of Krishna. He gives you all these things. And he gives you the, whole, the science of devotional service to perform. This is the business of a guru. So that is Advaita Acharya. He came to give the process, the science of Krishna consciousness. <clears throat> uh, so, so, yeah, so the pure devotee, he gives you the message of the Acharyas. So that's Advaita Acharya, the process of devotional service. The means and the end are the same. The means is devotional service. And the, the end is devotional service, but in love. But the means of, of bhakti yoga is, uh, yeah, means and the end are the same. The process of bhakti yoga, when we become perfect, that the, it, the, the process itself purifies the heart. And when the heart is purified, <clears throat> then, uh, yeah, then one becomes perfect. And... So by following the instructions of the Acharya, the process given by the Acharya is way to Acharya, one gets rid of all the anathas. And now he's eligible to enter into the spiritual realm. And then he starts talking of, uh, when will I be uh, Nityananda Prabhu? <laughs> when will I get the mercy of Nityananda Narutam Son? When will I re receive the mercy of Nityananda Prabhu? Uh, so Advaita Acharya takes you out of the material world. Then into the spiritual world, into Nabadweep. Now what are you going to do when you're in the Nabadweep? Or, or Brindavan? Kambi Habba Heri Bashi Brindavan. When will my mind be absorbed in Brindavan? Uh, <clears throat> yeah, what are you going to do there? You're, you, you're out of the material world. You're out of the contamination of the material world. Now you're in the spiritual world, what, what, what will you do? So that's the mercy of Nityananda Prabhu. You're in the spiritual realm now. That's his position. He expands as the Vishuddha Shattva existence, uh, Shambhit, the potency, spiritual potency. There's Nabhadi Thalmi, he expands as the holy name. Uh, so now you're in the spiritual world. What do you do? And he refers to the... Uh, when will Rupa and Raghunath be merciful upon me? When will I have the inspiration to and enthusiasm to follow in the footsteps of Rupa and Raghunath? Rupa Raghunath in, mean the Haladini potency. Gadatha Pandit. It's represented as Gadatha Pandit. Haladini, Haladini potency. When will I be eager to study the Goswami's teachings? Uh, because they know very, the Goswamis know very well the uh, confidential teachings of pure devotion, service to Radha and Krishna. So, uh, so then in that state of receiving the mercy of Haladini, the, the, the six Goswami, the Rupa Raghunath, <coughs> and receiving the, uh, um, uh, the, 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 the blessings, then that is the Godatha's position. So that is the Haladini potency, Bhakti. That's the only thing that attracts Krishna. Bhakti is. So they can give it, Gadatha Panti can give it. Uh, when one is purified and is in the spiritual realm and is following in the footsteps of the inhabitants of Vrindavan, specifically the six Goswamis are the eternal associates of the Lord in conjugal relationship. <clears throat> and by that bhakti then Lord Chaitanya reveals himself as Radha and Krishna. So this is the progression in Kali Yuga. We have to go through this progression because these, are the, uh, these avatars have 
uh, come to reveal this. <coughs> so, and Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu sh himself is shown by his, uh, that example. He followed this example also. He is the head of all the tattvas, but he also followed this example. And when he then he took guru, so he took shelter of the guru. Uh, Madhavendra Pur, uh, Ishwar Puri. And what did he, Ishwar do? He gave him the essence of the Vedas. The, the, the essence <laughs> to, know, to understand Krishna, to love Krishna, to chant Hare Krishna. Uh, and Mahaprabhu put it into practice and immediately the result was there, the effect was there. His heart became purified. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is always pure, but in his pastime of Bhakta, he, before he was Nimai, naughty Nimai, who cared? He didn't care for anyone. Uh, then he became serious. Then he took initiation. Uh, but the process was immediate. Within a matter of days, he went to Gaya, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu on the plea of doing Pinda for his Shraddha ceremony for his father. <coughs> there he met Ishwara Puri. He knew him from before. Ishwara Puri would often come to his house when he was in Nabadvi because he was a mendicant. He was just traveling from holy place to holy place. Whenever he came to Nabatvi, Jagannath Mishra would invite him to his house and, and Nimai would also feed him sometimes. So he knew him. Then he met him in uh, Gaya, then he became serious and he wanted to take initiation. <coughs> Within a couple of days of taking initiation, he went back and told his Guru Maharaj, I don't know what kind of mantra you give me, but I think I'm going puggle. Because when I chant this mantra, I'm sometimes ch jumping up and down, sometimes falling on the ground, sometimes laughing, sometimes crying. I don't know if I'm possessed by a ghost or something. That, well, can you please tell me what's happening, Guru Maharaj? And he said, very good, my child, very good, my son. You <laughs> keep on chanting like this, very good, very good. <laughs> so immediately he started to feel ecstatic symptoms. <clears throat> Within a matter of days, uh, to show that the process, how quick the process is, if you sincerely follow it. <clears throat> ah, he had normal realization first. He realized the presence of Krishna, the presence of God in the holy name. Otherwise, why was, where was the ecstasy coming from? He was just chanting Hare Krishna. And he was showing all symptoms of ecstasy. Blah, blah, blah. So he was realizing the presence of the Lord. The Lord revealed him presence. Nama realization. This is the first revelation of the holy name. Then from there he went to Kananachala. This is a few days more. There he saw Krishna. Uh, <clears throat> he came back to Navadvip. He was a changed person. The devotees were surprised. At last, Nimai has become a devotee. Wow, we've, we've been praying he would become a devotee for years, but now he's become a devotee. <clears throat> Yeah, he went to Kenai Natsha. He told all the devotees, I, you come to Shukalam Brahmachari's house, I'll tell you what happened in my journey. And he told him how he went to Kenai Natsha and he said, there I saw Krishna. He saw, I saw him. That place is, non, is, is Gupta Vrindavan. How many people have been there? Kenai Natsha? Very beautiful place. Right on the bank of the Ganga. Little hill, mountain there. But that's famous uh, uh, for, as a place called Gupta Vrindavan. A very ancient place, actually. <coughs> Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur established footprints of Gauranga Mahaprabhu there. <coughs> but it's a very famous place uh, as Gupta Vrindavan. And Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has confirmed this by saying that he saw Krishna there. And Krishna was playing his flute. Then he's calling, come on, come on. <laughs> Then he went to grab Krishna, but Krishna disappeared. Oh, for, and then he went into a, another ecstasy. <clears throat> and all the devotees were so happy to see <laughs> astonishing. So this is all a couple of days. First the ecstasy was there, then he saw Krishna. And the first Nama revelation, then the holy name revealed the Rupa, the form of Krishna. Then later on the Gunas, the qualities of Krishna. The holy name revealed the qualities. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu said... 
Krishna, my Krishna is so attractive. My eyes, they rush to see him. My ears, they rush to hear, see him. My, my tongue wants to <laughs> lick at the nectar of his... Uh, uh, my, my, my touch sensation wants to touch Krishna. And my, my senses simultaneously, they're all running to Krishna. They're tearing me apart. They're all acting. Usually one sense acts at a time. It goes to one sense object at a time. But all my senses, they're rushing towards Krishna at the same time. I feel like I'm being torn apart. <coughs> <clears throat> Guna, the qualities of Krishna. You could hear the sweetness of Krishna's voice and the softness of Krishna's touch. They're all so the holy name reveals these gunas, the qualities of Krishna. <clears throat> Nam Rup Guna Lila. Uh, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is, he is uh, unconscious ex externally. The devotees didn't like to see that when he went unconscious. They were very sad. Anyway, they were chanting, he said, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Tried to get him to wake up. <laughs> so he woke up and he said, why did you call me? Why did you call me? I was there with all the shakis. We were picking flowers. We would make nice garlands for Radha Madhava. Why did you call me? Why did you bring me back? <laughs> Leela. See, the holy name is revealing the Leela to him. Not only seeing, he was taking part. He said, we was picking flowers. He was <laughs> so this is the progression that <coughs> is revealed through the Panchatatra and through the holy name, the progression. Namaguna Rup Leela. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu showed how this is possible <coughs> if one is sincere. Few days, a few days only. Marvel show. <clears throat> uh, so it's not that Chaitanya, uh, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is the supreme person that you've got, that he can do everything, you know. I mean, they're chanting 30, 40 years, but it's expected because I'm a conditioned soul. And I'm, I still have a, a, attractions and because I'm a conditioned soul. And Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is the supreme person that you've got. It's so for him it's okay. He can very quickly attain all the ecstasies. I can't attain them. <clears throat> but no, he is, he's explaining here. He's come as the Bhakta Avatar. And whatever he does, he does in perfection. When these different avatars come and perform pastimes. They do in perfection. When Jasoda is tying Krishna with a rope, and Krishna's, his, his pearl necklace is ching, 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 ching. He's shivering out of fear. He's not, he's, he's not putting a show on. I'll, I'll just put a show on for my mother. He's actually fear. He saw that stick in just Soda's hand. Mommy, I've been an offender. Please don't beat me. Please don't beat me. <laughs> so she threw the stick away. But he was, he, it was real. Because when he plays, when he's a child, he's playing in perfection. He was scared. He was afraid of Mother Jasoda's stick. <clears throat> so similarly, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, playing as a bhakta avatar, he's playing in perfection. And he showed that all he, all, all, he, all he ever did was to be sincerely follow his guru's instruction. He didn't do anything else. And everything was revealed to him. <clears throat> Uh, so this is the progression, progression in love, developing your love for these different personalities. Prabhupada said, and the six Goswami is <coughs> the Haladini potency. Uh, so this is Advaita Chari, is part of this Pancha Tattva Mkamkisa. He's one of the Tattvas, he's the Yuga Avatar, part of the Yuga Avatar Tattvas. <coughs> and yeah, so at Vaita Acharya, he called the Lord by his loud chanting, both in Shantipo, he, that if you go to Shantipo, there's the, the old river Ganga is there, you can see it just close to the temple. Uh, they have a temple there, the tree, Tin Prabhu. And at Vaita Acharya was sitting there on the bank of the Ganga, he was offering Tulsi leaves and Manjaris to Shalagram with the loud chanting of the holy names. And uh, also in Nabadweep, he had a place in Nabadweep, 
Advaita Bhavan is there. Just pass, you go past the Jog Pit, past Sri Vashangam, and then, then you come to Advaita Bhavan. Uh, he had a house, presumably, the place there, because <coughs> he was a very respected, he was the leader of all the Brahman, Brahmanical community. So, it, and Nabadweep at that time was the place to be for cultural learning, scholarship, etc. So any, anybody who was anybody, they had a toll there, they had their school there. So Advaita Chari had a school in Shantipur and there's also a school in, in Mayapur. So both places, he was here on the bank of the Ganga chanting loudly and he also was in Shantipur on the bank chanting loudly for the Lord to come and the Lord finally decided uh, to come. <coughs> <clears throat> and Chaitanya Mahaprabhu uh, he, was, he was very strict on uh, Vaishnava Prabhupada that he would not excuse Chaitanya Mahaprabhu would not excuse that <clears throat> and one time Mahaprabhu was uh, he's showing his majestic aspect he was sitting on the altar, actually. He moved, he moved the shalagrams to one side and he sat on the, on the altar. <clears throat> In a majestic aspect. And... Uh, what were we talking about? <clears throat> anyway, he said to Ramayak, uh, Shribashi's brother, that you go and get it way to Charya. In Shantipur, when, whenever he comes, he, he always tries to trick me. He always tries to make a plan. So he said, <laughs> uh, go and tell him that uh, that person who is worshipping every day uh, is here in Nabadri, in Mayapur. That person you are calling to uh, is here. So you come and see him and bring paraphernalia for worshipping me and so he told Ramai, to, Ramai went to Shantipur and told Advaita Acharya. Ah, Advaita Acharya was in ecstasy when he heard that. Began dancing and crying. And he, his, his wife was dancing and crying and son was dancing and crying. <laughs> uh, yeah, when he, when he got this news, so he, then he said to, Advaita Acharya said to Ramai that you go um, I, I'm going to go, but I'm going to hide in Sri uh, in, in the uh, uh, Nanda Acharya's house. <coughs> I'm going to hide there. If he is the Lord, he will know I am there. If he is the Lord, then that will be the proof that he, he knows. <coughs> uh, so then he came and Mahaprabhu said, that is way to try. He always tries to trick me. He wants to make me show something <laughs> to then he said he'll be satisfied that I'm the supreme person of God. Anyway, I know he's hiding in that way to Bhavan. You go and get him and bring him here. <clears throat> uh, so then, yeah, it's a, a way to, uh, He said, I have come appeared because of your loud call, cries at way to, because you're, By your crying, you have brought me here in your worship of the Lord. And one time when he was show, he was yeah he was showing this opulent feature he was sitting on the on the, on the Vyasa sign, and the devotee he was giving prem to everyone Goranga prem, ah. and all the devotees were praying and they're asking give give my guru give this they were asking for devotional service and Mahaprabhu was giving, and they said give Sachi Mata devotional service he said no, I will not give her the love of God. Why? Why are you giving everyone else and she's your mother? No, she is an offender. She is not qualified to receive my devotional service. What did she do? Uh, she criticized my Adv Advaita Acharya. She thought this Advaita Acharya is coming, he's associating with Nimai. 
He's, he used to come before and associate with my other son, Vishram, 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 And Vishram, what happened as a result of his association, Vishram ran off, took sannyas. Now he may do the same thing, my Mahaprabhu. So she was criticizing him in her mind. Mahaprabhu says she's an offender. She offended Advaita Chari. The only way that to get rid of Vaishnava Parad is by get the blessings of the person that you offended to forgive you. So you get the dust of Advaita Chari's feet on your head. And he, so the waiter, you should give her the dust of your feet on, the, on her head <laughs> and ask for forgiveness. Say, what? what my, the dust of my feet on her head? She's a, she's a supreme mother. She's a mother of the universe. <laughs> She's actually just soda. She's, she, feeds, she feeds the Supreme Person that you've got it with her breast milk. She's Devaki. And you want me to put... Oh, and he fainted on the floor. Said, Your chance. <laughs> Mother just saw this chance. So she ran up and <laughs> took the dust while he was in a fainted condition. Put the dust on him. <laughs> then Mahaprabhu was very happy. You're okay. <laughs> and he blessed her with it, also with Prem. <clears throat> And another time, Advaita Chari, he didn't like that Mahaprabhu was always showing him respect as his superior. He said, You're an, he's the supreme person that you've got it. I'm just an ex incarnation. I'm <laughs> insignificant to him. <clears throat> uh, so he wanted Mahaprabhu to, um, uh, to stop treating him like that. He, want, he wanted to be... <clears throat> Mahaprabhu is the Prabhu. I am the. He wanted to be the servant. That, <coughs> so, <coughs> oh, he devised a trick. So he was in at Chantipur. He was teaching the Vasishtha uh, Dvaita philosophy, Yoga Sutras, Mayavad philosophy. Everything is one. Brahman is absolute. So then he started to teach it in Shantipur and news came to Chaitanya Mahaprabhu that you know what your Advaita is doing? He's teaching my bad philosophy. Advaita Mahaprabhu, I can't believe that Advaita. Let's go, let's go and have a look. So he went with Nityananda Prabhu. And they arrived in the Advaita's house and the Advaita was sitting there teaching the Yoga Sutras. And Mahaprabhu was sitting there and he became furious, he heard him. He said, Advaita Chari, what is the essence of the Shastras? He, the essence of the Shastras is Aham Brahmashmi. You become Brahman. Otherwise, how you can understand anything without becoming Brahman? You want Bhakti, then first we get Brahman. Then your Bhakti will come. But Brahman is the Supreme. That is what is glorified in your Upanishads. And Mahaprabhu couldn't tolerate it anymore. He jumped, he threw him on the floor and he started to beat it. Beat it. I, came, I was sleeping very peaceably on an Anandashesh and you started calling me, come down, come down. I gave up my sleep to come down. And <laughs> you're supposed to be teaching the pure Bhakti and now you're teaching this. My, and his wife, no, no, don't beat him. He's an old man, he may die. And... Uh, do you know who killed Kamsa? That was me. You know who killed these people? Well, I killed all these big demons. And, you <laughs> and the waiter is hearing this. Yes, yes, this is what I want to hear. This is what I want to hear. <laughs> I want to hear your glories, how great you are. <laughs> Marvel became very embarrassed. Advaita charge a key. Yeah, so they... They understood Mahaprabhu's position, and they, oh, but everybody took the position of servant of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Vishwarup uh, uh, and Advaita Chari were discussing things. God knows what they were discussing. <laughs> they both got <laughs> so what kind of discussion? Anyway, it was uh, must have been something to do with the bhakti shastras. But <clears throat> and uh, Sachi Mata said to Nimai, "He's a small baby. You go and get." Tell him, tell him it's time for your lunch. <laughs> so Nim, baby Nimai goes there with this little ankle, little bell around his waist on a bit of string, and he's covered in dust. And he walks out, walks to a waiter's house, toddler, he's a toddler. 
and the waiter and Krishna Rupa, they're discussing what are they discussing. Then they see the little baby in my dusty, completely absorbed. <laughs> Whole consciousness is fixed. <laughs> they forgot whatever they were talking about, <laughs> and it must be something pretty exotic. But they, they just absorbed in their mind. Mummy wants you to come home for your prasadam this time. <laughs> Completely lost in. <laughs> <coughs> in this way, they were. Uh, everybody was accept, accepting her. So. <coughs> Prabhupada said, Advaita has a beard to distinguish him from Srivas. Because sometimes people ask, why Advaita Chari has a beard? <laughs> the Prabhupada said, he has a beard to distinguish him from Srivas. <clears throat> when uh, Advaita was in Mapu, in, Mapu, in Nilachal, uh, Mapu would come every day see Lord Jagannath and go to Toto Gopinachi and then go to see Haridash Thakur at Shilavoko. And uh, so the devotees would go there and meet, all meet there at the Shilavoko. And so Mahaprabhu was there, wait till Acharya came. So he said, Acharya, what did you do this morning? Oh, what I do, what I usually do every morning, I, you know, I do my oblations uh, and things like that. And uh, then I came to come down. I take darshan of Lord Jagannath, and yeah, then I came to see you, same as I do every day. No, no, you tell more detail, more detail. No, I do my morning duties and everything like that, and then I come to see the deity. I come to see Lord Jagannath, and I succumb to meet Lord Jagannath five or seven times. Then I come and see you. Mahaprabhu says, yes, you are defeated, Acharya. Said, Maybe I'm defeated, but please tell me why. No, because you said when you succumb to meet the Jagannath, five or seven times. He said, but when I came to see Jagannath, you used to come and made it on your right, on your right side. He said, but when I come to see Jagannath, I didn't see left, I didn't see right, I didn't see up, I didn't see down. I only saw those big, big, beautiful eyes of Lord Jagannath. That's all I saw. <laughs> the waiter said, yes, my Lord, you have defeated me. <laughs> I am defeated by you. Advaita Charya ki jai, Shri Advaita Saptami ki jai, Advaita Charya Alva Mahu Sapjati ki jai, Taigo Premanandi. Thank you. Hare Krishna.